What's going on YouTube? Kyle can come at you with some more mods on the for ultimate. If you are enjoying this series, please be sure to hunt down and carve out the like button to show your support for this series. Anyway, in the last episode, we finally took down the Shigara Magura, the monster that was plaguing, uh, I guess this world? I don't know, Mineguard? I, I think that's the name of this world that we're in? I'm not entirely sure about that, but... Um, now we're going to take on our first high rank quest. Um, it will not be my first high rank quest. It will be my first high rank village quest, but that's about it. Okay, so. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take on the Skip Scuttler um, quest. Now, uh, since it's, it's indeed high rank quest, you're going to need to bring everything you're going to need with you. You're going to bring it yourself. Um, because you start off in a random area. Um, and on top of that, you won't... Um, the items probably won't be available immediately as you um, immediately as you get there. So you're gonna want to bring everything you want with you. Uh, dunes, why am I cool drinks? Uh, potions, pink balls, dung bombs. Bring dung bombs are gonna be very important starting now as well. Uh, some sonic bombs as well, actually. And I think that'll be good. Um, the thing about high rank quests is that um, you can't start anywhere in the zone or in the um anywhere in the the map but um for quests such as this or it's a new monster i'm i'm fairly certain that you start in the base camp simply for the fact that uh there's gonna be a cutscene where into the area with the monster in it or at the very least you start in an area without the monster in it you know um for the sake of this quest uh because there's a cutscene and it's a new area we're starting at the base camp so um because of that uh we'll be able to grab the map i think the i forgot to eat <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I <laughs> it's happening again, guys. It's happening again. Uh, nice. Great. Uh, I'm fairly certain I'll still start back in the base area, but... I forgot to eat. That was my fault entirely. Um, I apologize. And... No, no. The kitchen is right here. So let's do this quest. Okay, Popo Tons, what's this? I'm gonna go for Water Bearer, because my armor has probably has a water weakness. I don't know if it does or not. I know that the Nazarala has a water weakness. Water and ice, or ice and water, rather. Okay, let's try this again. Um, get Marn. Let's get this quest going before, um, before it's too late. Okay, now, <laughs> we're actually going to get this done, so we can start helping out. Okay, yeah, see, so because there's a cutscene monster here, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I do give it cool drinks to start with for this one. Okay, they usually don't, I'm fairly certain. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to head to, I think, area four is where we want to go. Um, get my paintballs ready. Oh, there's interesting music here. Oh, by the way, this is also the desert from uh, Monster Hunter 1. Uh, no, this one. Um, because I remember we don't need cool drink. Oh, okay, maybe it was Area 3. No. Ooh, a rock. A little mining. Sorry about this, guys, but I'm fairly certain. Ooh, light crystal. What the fuck? Butter and jewel. I'm pretty sure we can get advanced armor. Ooh, carbolite ore. Nice. So that means I can start using my own carbolite ore that I need for stuff now as well. I don't think I need it for too much stuff, though. I'm not going to actually be mining. Um, I just want to see what you can get here so I know what I can potentially use. Because I don't think we got any harvest tours yet. Um, okay, so it wasn't Area 3. I was mistaken. I thought it was Area... Oh, yeah, because Area 3 is the one with the palm tree. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Okay. So I just messed up. It happened, though. Alright, anyway, this is, um, this is a monster from the original Monster Hunter right here. Um, this isn't the one I'm fond of, though. I, I like the, the other variant of, I, I guess you could say variant, other member of this thing's family, classification. Um, oh, right, this one's a hermit crab, the other one's just, like, I guess they're both hermit crab, kind of, but, like, I don't know. I like the Shogun Sienatar more than this thing. I was really thought I was really glad that his armor was back, but he's not in the game. We had the Daimyo Hermitar back though, which is I mean I guess okay. It's not bad. 
Um, there used to actually be a Hermitar Sword and Shield back in um, Monster Hunter 2nd G. Uh, I don't think there is any more. Um, but yeah, I like this cutscene. Because I should have been eviscerated right then and there. But instead, I'm just on a tree. And uh, in true Monster Hunter 4 uh, U logic, or not logic, a uh, way of doing things, um, they start you off right in danger. Uh, see, like, I can't angle it right to jump off that. But anyway, here's the Darmio Hermitar. Get off me! Shit! His element is water. His elements are water blight. And uh, his weakest to uh, what the fuck? His weakest to thunder. And green sharpness might not be the best thing that cut this guy. And as you can see on his back, he has a um, he has a shell um, that's obviously the skull of a monster. Now this monster is actually in this game as well. He was, I think, the final offline boss and the first monster on a portable, or one of them. Oh. Uh, Hold the mono blow, so we'll get into more of that later when we actually fight him. But uh, this guy burrows, so just be prepared to get out of the way at, at a moment's notice. I'm gonna get over here because I'm gonna try to get a ride off. Um, I don't know if I can. Dang it. Oh no! That gets me every time. Every single time he does that. But yeah, like I was saying, you don't start with uh, any items in the in the box, so I have no. What are you doing? Oh, he's eating right now, so he dropped a shiny. Sound like I did enough damage to you? No, no. Damn it! I rolled. Whatever, I guess. Now as well go and get greedy, at the very least. This guy makes that hard though. The greed! Black Pearl. Eh. Like, as you can see, I'm taking a fair amount of damage right now. Oh, no! This is when I Sonic Bomb him. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the breakables on this monster include his claws um, and the back of his shell. I don't think anything else can be broken on him. I don't remember anything else. Now you can see he's foaming at the mouth, so that means he's enraged. And at this point, I don't think Sonic Bomb will work on him anymore. I mean, he claw swiped the wrong way entirely. And there's his water breath, which would... Oh, shit! I forgot he could do that. Great. Now it's going to be really hard for me to use my stamina. Wait! Oh, my God. I didn't know he could pin you down. I had no idea. I don't understand why these aren't counting for rides. Oh my god. Well, this is the... There we go. This is the downfall with uh, having low rank armor. This is really going to impact my riding, isn't it? Oh my god, my stamina's going back up so slow. I'm gonna fail! I actually failed because of the water! Oh my fucking gosh! That's actually bullshit. <sighs> Just I was like, I was like, you know, I wonder if this is gonna affect my riding capabilities, and I should have known that it actually would. Great! I missed out on a chance to do a massive amount of damage on this guy, but this quest is not going well. It's really not. And for whatever reason, I can't pierce him with this. I, I remember in in uh, Second G that you could pierce him. You could break your shell with the sword and shield because I I did it. Because that and dual blades were the only weapons I really used. 
You're not catching me with that this time, fam. Now, one way to tell if this guy is weak is when he starts foaming at the mouth in purple, uh, purple bubbles. I'm gonna heal again, because this guy has water, and that's not the best thing for him. I think I can... I don't know which way he's going. I got to heal so much. Because my armor's <laughs> my armor is just lowering and it's just terrible. Oh my god. It doesn't help that I'm still not feeling well because I I still haven't eaten yet. Like I have food. But it's not, I'm just not gonna feel better instantly, you know? And since I might not stream tonight, I figured I might as well get some recording done! Why didn't you jump and get the ride? I'm gonna die. This less is going horribly. Oh my gosh, it's going so horribly. Okay, so I'm not gonna fail it this time, I hope. You know, the way this guy tried to get you off, though, is actually real. Like, when some of the other monsters do it, like, they just kind of don't even give a damn. This guy's actually going hard to throw you off. I think that's probably the best way to break his horn, too. Or to break the, uh... To break the shell, rather. I say horn because that's a monobol's head and you can break the monobol's horn and when you break the shell you um I hate this you got there's no way this guy has way too much fucking range in that attack like that's actual bullshit that he got me with that again I've never been hit with that before this today in this quest. Like actually. This quest is actually going horribly. I don't even think he's close to death either. If I if I didn't fuck up that first ride. No, he's just walking. For whatever reason, I can't pierce his his shell. I say for whatever reason, but it's probably because I, I only have green sharpness. And for most of the rest of this, um, like the beginning of high rank, I'm probably gonna be stuck with with uh, green sharpness too. Because a lot of this material I'm gonna need to upgrade my um, weapons. I'm not gonna be able to get till later high rank. So, if, if I want to keep it level appropriate, I'm not really going to, uh... Have much... In the way of weapons, I don't believe. Is he forming purple yet? On your knees. Nope, I'm getting hit. Tight! Can I just not get hit with that, please? I'm actually gonna use all my provisions. That's still gonna hit me down here. Oh no, it's not. He's, oh yes, he's forming purple. I think. Wait, is he forming purple? I can't even see. Oh, right, I can't jump up that one. Oh, yeah, he's forming purple. Or, well, rather, he's just limping, but still. That's more than enough. It's more than I can ask for, right? I don't know if he goes to sleep in that area. Should I capture him? Or just let it slip? I haven't broken his claws yet, though. 
I wanna get some parts. And extra rewards. Oh. Oh, yeah, he has little minions too, by the way. Now, you know what? I don't want to get fucked up by his little minions, so I'm just going to catch him. Let's fuck the little Hermitars. But I'm going to carve up this one, though. Might give me a little something, something. Or just give me an account item. Uh, you know, I guess that's fine too. Mind this rock. <sighs> I did a lot worse than I really wanted to on that quest, but I mean, I guess, right? Darn it, only two carbolite or? Uh, I'm gonna have to do some low rank quests too, because uh, there's some stuff. There's a monster, some monsters I want to fight, get some materials for. But they won't show up until I beat them in Lauren first, at least. Uh, oh, I got a claw plus anyway. That's interesting. Okay, more Carbolite. Some more Hermitage shot. That must be from the little Hermitage. I forgot to bring Null Berries of my own. If I, that's not a bad. Oh, well, I mean, the skills are bad. Darn it. The Desert Lurker. Oh, right, I didn't do it by Meowster Hunters between quests. Like I said, I was going to. Hmm. Oh, well. Hopefully, I can do, like, some gathering quests or something now. So that I can upgrade my armor. Potentially. Oh, well. Everyone wants to talk to me now, so let's see what we got. What do you want? Yeah. How goes it, kid? Been hearing a lot about you lately. Anyone would think you're a pro. Look, I've been thinking. Maybe I'll let you in on, on some must-do quests, which will help you take things to the next level. But, before I let you in on this, I want to see for myself if you got what that you got what it takes. So let's see how well you handle, you handle singing in, in the blues, singing the blues. Complete this, and we'll take things to a whole new level. Heh, <laughs> I know. Intimidating talking to a pro, isn't it? What the fuck? Our hunter, uh over here okay you gotta help me you gotta help out your old mate I don't know you I would transplant tra 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 some foodstuffs fish meat fruit and the like on meal sand skiff and the holy <laughs> holy heaven bread the skip breaks them right in the middle of the dunes you know the dunes with lots of hungry monsters roaming about yar those dunes I don't want to leave out a buffet out for those bees so I bury the stuff nearby until the sand skiff repairs are done but now Hermitar is snooping around the area. Arr, the bloomin' thing must be sniffing out me wares. So what do you say? Think you can protect me stuff from the Hermitar while I work on getting the sand skip prepared? I follow the request with the glasses lady called Hermit, uh, Hermit Grab. Yar, show me what you're made of, Hunter. Really? That's, I just struggle in it. Like, that's not even a hard monster. Like, I, <laughs> I just got fucked up. Back so soon, it pleases me to see you safe. Your efforts have advanced the battle quarters repaired considerably. The cadet had many th kind things to say. I believe he called you a uh, Groovios and that the sand skiffs delivering materials were a. Uh, oh my god. Moving at a gargawesome pace. I assure you, I did not teach him that. One must assume that he is either giving a compliment or is having some kind of fit. Regardless, I believe you are ready for the next cast. Boistering, uh, bolstering the dragons here. The gunner is in charge, so speak with her when you are ready to know more. Thank you again. Okay, so she's over here. God, I have a massive headache, but I want to get some more recording done, because I might not stream tonight. Maybe I should just go to bed. Well, hello there. So you're on a job, too. This must be our lucky day, hehe. <laughs> Has anyone explained the Dragon Seer to you yet? Sometimes when you're out on a quest, you might see an airship flying overhead. That's the Dragon Seer. Their job is to watch for approaching other dragons. And for that, you need a wyvern's eye view. But they can't stay aloft forever with their present fuel resources, which rules out vast areas like the dunes. Researchers think that Emerald Congolala's gas might make a better fuel, and that's where you come in. Think you can hunt an Emerald Congolala for us? I followed a quest with a guild mom called Hot Air Buffoon. Thanks in advance, I'm counting on you. I know you'll come through. Um, I really want to upgrade my armor, though. Because I'll just get demolished if I keep going at this rate. I can definitely get advanced armor spheres now, though. I think. 
No, that's not it. Yeah, how long have you been standing there? How embarrassing. I was trying to remember a song I heard in my dreams last night. In my dream, I was a brave feline night off on a quest to save a beautiful princess. On the way to the castle where the princess was waiting for me, I wandered into a deep, deep forest. That's when I heard the song somewhere in the distance. It was the loveliest voice. It had to be a princess's. I followed the voice through the forest when all of a sudden two guards in red helmets and blue armored appeared. I was so surprised that I woke up. Those two guards must have been the guards of the castle. I wonder how I can get past them. Yeah, wait. Recently, I heard two Velocidrome have been causing problems for travelers on the road. Do you think you can get rid of them, Hunter? Maybe then I can get past the two guards in my dream. I put the quest in the guild arm. They're here on the captain's trap. In the meantime, I'll keep practicing the song. Oh, okay. That's how I get the... What was she going to tell me? I don't want to do Velocidrome. I mean, it's gonna, there's no harm in doing it, though. I don't know if I'd record it, though, because I I don't think that's worth... I don't need that for story progression, I don't believe, so... Because a lot of people just give random quests to do anyway. Oh, Doodle, the gunner filled me in. You need a quest to pop the dragon seer, right? I decided to give a quest a snappy name, Hot Air Buffoon. You'll be hunting an Emerald Kangalala. Ever looked about the sky and, and when I was going to see the dragon seer? If you wave it, I'll show you where the large monsters are for a short period of time. Honest to Gypsers. I would sure like to wave at it sometime. That right there is living. Oh, well, I've got you. I've received a letter uh, by Arrow from a, while, a palico roaming the field. Let me read it to you. Lately, we've been researching long and hard on the Meowster, a slew of new uh, forts and skills. They make palico team tech stronger and perform all kind of all useful actions. Dare I say, my name is Oh my god. Claws. <laughs> Charismatic can be blessed, yeah? Anyway, if you find us, you can hire us. Wow, dude, that sounds pretty impressive. New forts? If you don't hire them, I might scoop them up first. That arrow seems to fruist in from the dunes. Could it be the wild palico who is sent from the area, is roaming the area as we speak? Anyway, get out there and hunt that emerald conga wild. That's an order. Well, no, it's not, but do it for me. Okay. How do you Hermit crab. Oh, do I only have to say eight hermitars? Okay, that's easy. I'll do that. Hermitage, Captain's Trap. Oh, I have to hunt a blue yen cut coup. Okay, maybe I would record this one then because uh, that's a blue cut coup. I don't know if there's a cut scene purse snatcher. Um, Huntathon Catcher Watcher. Oh, I can use it to upgrade my Catcher Watcher like Pokemon. Okay, so yeah, I could definitely uh, mine out some crystals, some advanced armor spheres from these areas. I'm fairly certain. I'm gonna double check. Ugh. Let's see. I apologize to be doing the thumb recording. I can't have them in Thunken Hollow, Primal, Primal Forest. Oh yeah, so I can upgrade my armor a little bit. So I'm definitely gonna do that um, in between um, episodes. Um, so yeah, we get that done. Um, and then instead of jumping right back into those, I'm gonna do a few low rank quests because, like I said, there's some parts I want to get. So I have to do like three or four quests um, before I can get the Kieran quest unlocked, so that I can use Kieran materials. That'll be uh, better to use than my um, than my Zenogre weapon. So um, I guess in the next episode I'll be taking on um, this uh, two life crew. It'll be a dual monster quest. I think it'll be actually be the first dual monster quest that I've had that you have to take on. Um, I've done other ones, but you don't have to exactly do them. I just done them just because uh, I was doing a lot. All I want to do all the quests. I don't know if you get the armor thing from um, this game though, like you did in Portable Second. I know I refer to that game a lot, guys. I apologize for it. <laughs> if that bothers any of you, but I, I really don't think it, it will. And if it does, I apologize. But I'm gonna get geared up and um, do some palico stuff. So, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time uh, when we are going to do some more quests and stuff and killing monsters. Later.